would it be possible for a person to kill a bear of any type with their bare hands? Oh yeah, cubs. Okay, what's talk about big bears, like oh. real bears. I don't know. Be a challenge. Okay, would be a challenge. Would be a challenge. No yeah. definitive word on that. Uh, you know, you'd have to really sneak up on them, and uh, you know, just have some kind of upper hand. I mean, bare okay. hands, you know. Bare hands on bear. No, <laughs> pun intended, right? But um, they're they're big. You know, bears can be thousand pounds. You know, even a black bear can hit six hundred pounds. Okay. I've seen some some creatures in the night. You know, I've heard some rustling in the dark. You know, mm -hmm. what am I hearing out there? Like. Mm -hmm. What, what type of creatures are lurking? Are we talking like bobcats, cougars, brown <laughs> bears? You know, we're pretty close to the beach here. It's obvious why the garden is popping off like crazy. Mm -hmm. But uh, what's out there? Yeah, yeah, bobcats need a bit more rural, high grass, shrubbery. Cougars definitely will come through here. Here? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. How big are they? T how big are they going to get? Uh, males can pop out near 200 pounds. Okay, uh, for all the viewers out there, you know, like obviously if you were to encounter a cougar, you may be at a hotel bar. Zing! I'm just kidding. You know, but crazy, right? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but like, what's the move? Like, you make put your hands up in the air. You make a lot of noise. Like, yeah, you with, put your dukes out. Like, what are we doing? Yeah, yeah. With most cats, uh, they're the element of surprise, and uh, they'll be coming at you with an element of surprise. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, so, what does so, that like? so well, basically, you'll never see it coming until it's too late. So, whoa, okay. So, so if you do see a cat, generally they give up. Okay. So the you know. I was taught in Africa just to just to look for the lions, to see the lions, and make eye contact with the lions, and just stare at the lions, and uh, they'll eventually just sit and they'll just lie Wait, down. Wait, you said make eye contact with the lions? Yeah, just you. I mean, because you either have to be dominant or you die. So you just in life and Africa. And uh, well, when it comes to life or death situations with animals and humans and cars. Have you ever been in a life and death situation with an animal before? Um, no. I mean, no. I've seen like 30 bears, you know, 20 feet away, you know, Sick. lions four feet away, but I was in a car for all the lions, and every bear I've ever seen has just run away, so... I mean, you're a pretty big dude, so you must like... I think I have that advantage. You got the advantage in the biology field. Yeah, I think they actually do kind of respect that. In fact, I remember when I was younger, six, five, shorter, Yeah. that animals when I saw them, wouldn't pay attention to me so much as my parents. Gotcha. And then I remember growing older and seeing the animals start to notice me. I more. once tried to kick a squirrel and it bit me. <laughs> Disaster, dude. That's true life, green life confession here, you know? Yep, yep. And then many years later, I actually saved a squirrel. This fat ass squirrel. Mm -hmm. Just like got right into a bird beer. Mm -hmm. And I looked at it and I said, you know, so many years ago, I kicked this squirrel, attempted to kick a squirrel. Never made contact. It was like, it was like, ha, 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 ha. and then it was just like, Hack, boom, mm -hmm. chomp right down mm -hmm. on the foot. You know, I was yeah. scarred for life. Squirrels have been known to kill dogs. What? Yeah. No yeah. way. Cat house cats. Yeah. How yeah. big could squirrels get? Uh, I mean, it depends on the squirrel. I mean, the, in the Siridae family, there's you know the marmots and stuff like that, and the woodchucks and stuff like that. Damn. So there's there's some big squirrels out there. You know, if you look, if you look up here, you know, like, can we can we see up here for a second? You know, like this. That's, this is the highway. You know, like. Oh yeah. Like this up there, that's the highway. You know, a lot of creatures up there, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you need to be a tiny creature to go on that fence highway, or can you be a, a big guy? Any, can cougars be up there? Any size, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Bears. They don't have a tail, so their sense of balance is not. Well, they have a tail, but a very reduced tail. So their sense of balance is not as good as the felines, the rodents, etc. So you wouldn't really see a bear. They could climb over it for darn sure. Okay. And a cougar wouldn't like to stay up there very long because it's not very wide. They have a higher center of gravity. Gotcha. But, um, you do have a very good, I mean, the lattice, you know, is excellent for climbing. Sick. And, okay, uh, five final questions. Yeah. Your are going to come quick. Mm -hmm. Alligators or crocodiles? Alligators. Tigers or lions? Tigers. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, Komodo dragons or monitor lizards? Komodo. Okay. Starship troopers, aliens, or like Ripley fighting alien creatures? Starship troopers. Yes, dude. You know? Okay. And then uh, finally, 
Um, Commando or Predator? Commando. Okay, man. Well, I think what we're going to do now, if you're up for it, take some lettuce. Mm -hmm. Take a bite. Mm -hmm. Head back to where you came from. Or you can stay. Your choice, man. This is your life in front of you. I'm ready. I'll make the wish first. All right. Okay, you ready? I'm with you. I wish tomato time would come sooner. You are. Go. Radish time. Thank you for watching The Green Life. Big ups to our teleporting, time traveling biologist coming through from a different world, you know. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out his channel if you're into it. And uh, stay tuned, folks. I'm TPG. Keep exploring. Thanks. Four legs over four wheelers.